Hello everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to the class and today is the day four of our Elan Plus Maths Word Problem. I am so glad right now we have around 140 members in our class and absolutely we are doing well up to now. We have done three classes and today is the fourth day. Okay. So as you all know, my name is Hiren and I am your tutor. And we are doing this course for uh, solving the maths word problem, which is related to 11 plus exam. And today we have a chapter that is very good chapter, algebra. Okay. And in this, we are struggling most of the time because algebra requires too much knowledge of equation making and equation solving. Okay. So as you know, our session is divided into three parts. First of all, we are going to learn. Okay. Then after learning some basic concepts we will move forward and we will try some questions in this i will solve with you so nothing is to worry after that that practice session you are going to check yourself okay and you can analyze yourself after this class how much you are learning and you can check that things in this quiz section okay in this you can test yourself now let's begin our first section that is learn and in this we are going to learn all the things related to algebra okay so what are going to uh, we are going to address today so first of all we are going to address this thing and i think you all must know about this but i will revise some of the areas and then we will move forward okay first of all what are algebraic expression and equation this we are going to uh, understand after learning this much we will check other things like how to convert word problems into algebra this is so much important okay second point is the main important topic of this chapter because if you are able to convert the word problem into algebra then you are able to make equation and if you are able to make correct equation then and then only you will get a correct answer okay so it is so important because after reading the question you must able to record it perfectly yeah okay after having those knowledge we will practice some questions and at after that we have the quiz and after quiz i will tell you some exam technique which you can apply during the exam to score better and at the end we have the summary so everyone ready for the today, today's class show me thumbs up fantastic i can see your energy very good okay so let's start our first question okay let's answer this question what are algebraic expression and equation so first of all i will tell you what is expression so in in the first line we have written this terms connected by mathematical operations like plus minus multiplication divide is known as an expression okay so here you need to learn one thing that is what here we are mentioning this terms connected by mathematical operations like this four operations okay is known as expression and in front of you we have the example 10y minus 17 let's say and another example is 16p plus 11 but one thing is important here what is mean by term because they told us terms connected by mathematical operators are the expression but the question is what is term so before moving ahead of that you must know what is variable okay so variable is unknown number and it is represented by letters and you can use this uh, smaller alphabets okay like here you can see small a small b x y like this okay so variable it means what they are unknown and their value can be anything okay it depends as per the question question to question it varies now the next thing and that important word is the term okay term is a combination of variables and the number right so here as you can see here the variable already i have defined okay so variable is just unknown so term is what it is a combination of variable and number okay so is it clear what is mean by term so if you start from here term okay so term is a combination of variable and number what is variable so variable is unknown number okay and by using terms you can create the expression so all thing is clear up to now expression uh, i have already told you the some of the example for expression right and these are the example of term 
just multiplication of number and variable as you can see here 330z okay 100 is also number and variable combination you can consider like there is no variable okay like that so single just uh, 100 or b is also fine they will also consider as a term okay this is a number term and this is a variable term okay and this is also term so there is nothing like a uh, condition like there should be both of them together that is that, that type of condition we don't have okay now the next thing is what uh we have to define what is equation okay so after having the knowledge of expression we must know what is the difference between them so as you can see here if two expressions separated by equal sign then it is known as equation so here you can see if you have two expressions and one on the left side one on the right hand side and if you equate them then it is going to be equation okay yeah so it must be equal to something okay there should be expression but it must be equal to something okay if it is equal to something then and then only it is known as equation if it is not equal to anything then it's expression here you can see 16b plus 11 is just expression but if i will write 16b plus 11 equals to 0 then it is going to be equation okay why because we know that it is equals to something right is it clear everyone show me thumbs up is it clear the definition of expression and equation okay so very good right now okay yeah okay so we are ready to move ahead as we know now what is expression what is equation next thing we know we need to learn for this session is how to convert word problems into expression okay because in generally word problem we will get some words okay by using those words we have to identify how we can write algebraically okay for example, if I'm taking this first line, the sum of three and a number. So, and a number, that number we don't know. So, it's unknown, okay? So, you are allowed to choose a variable. And let's say for a number, you are choosing variable n, okay? As I mentioned, it should be the small letter. So, you can take small letter. Let's say you are taking n. You can select anything x, y, z, okay? There is no problem. I am selecting n because I have written in terms of n, okay? See, now what they are telling us, the sum of n and a number, and my number is n, then the sum of what? 3 plus n, right? Because of this word, we have to add this to, okay? So, if you find anywhere sum, then you need to do addition, okay? Got it? Now, the next thing, 7 more than a number, okay? So, if you can see here, this more word gives impact here okay like seven more than a number it means what let's say number is n then seven more than that is seven plus n or n plus seven you can write in any order n plus seven or seven plus n that is the same thing so nothing is to worry now for uh if we move towards next line then a number plus two so we don't know the number but you know that we we are considering number as n right so n plus two it's very clear Similarly, a number is increased by 8. What it means? Like initially you have n and it is now increased by 8. So it's n plus 8, right? So it's a pretty clear, but during the exam or during reading the questions, you need to identify this type of words, okay? So by identifying, you are able to convert these words into the expressions, okay? Add 9 to a number. So let's say your number is n, as you know, and you are adding 9, so n plus 9. John is nine years older than Mick. Okay, so who is ten year old? So basically, you can solve this like this. Okay, if you get the age problem, then you are able to solve using that. Now let's talk about some other things like uh, we have done uh, with the addition, right? Now let's talk about how and when we need to put the subtraction sign. Okay, so if if this type of things is written like nine less than a number, less than a number, it means what? N should be the first. Okay yeah like last time you are adding so it is okay like you are keeping n first or the second but right now you are saying n is a number and nine less than that number so that number should be what n minus nine right so you have to take care of who comes first here okay now subtract 10 from a number okay so you are subtracting that is okay but from a number so from a number it means what n minus 10 right a number decreased by 5, okay? So, initially you have the number n and now it is decreased by 5, so it's n minus 5. 
Okay. Similarly, if you move forward, A is twice that of B. It means what? A is equals to the double of B, right? They are telling you this. Is means what? Equal. Okay. And twice means what? Two times, right? And two times of what? B. So as you can see, A is equals to two times B, right? It's very clear in front of you. You just have to decode. Okay. You just have to uh, uh, like... These are the words you have to identify and then you have to write in terms of maths, in terms of expression. If you want to write, then you need this type of symbols, this type of signs, this type of operations. Okay, plus, minus, equal and all this. A thrice, A is a thrice that of B. So it means what A is three times B. Now, eight times a number increase by four. Okay, so here you can see eight times a number. It means what? There is a number N. Eight times of that number is what? Eight N. And now that 8n is increased by 4. It means 8n plus 4. Okay. So it's easy. Nothing is to worry. Let's do this one. 8 times the sum of number and a 4. So first of all, do this one. Okay. Sum of number and 4. So it is going to be n plus 4, right? Because we all know our number is n and you are adding 4 into it. So it's going to be n plus 4. Now what they are telling? It is eight times, right? So it should be outside of that bracket because n plus four is itself a new number and we are doing eight times of that number, okay? So it's a eight times n plus four, right? Okay, so after doing this much practice and this much uh, example you have seen, you now must be able to identify this type of problems and you must able to apply this in this word problem, okay? So let me select uh, one of you to read this question and I am selecting, okay, let me choose a name, start with, uh, okay, let me select someone. Okay, I am selecting Julia, please read this question. Okay. Ishan, can you please? Okay, I am reading. Uh, you will buy a pen and a pencil for one pound and ten pence, okay? Or you can say 1.1 pound. The pen cost is 50p more than the pencil. So the question is, how much is the pen, okay? So here we need to tell them what is the price of a pen, okay? Fine. So how we are going to solve this? Let's do it together. If you know the things, very good. But this is just the first question. So I would request... Please concentrate here and then we will start the practice session. In, in that, I will give you time so you can solve. Okay. Right now, what we can see here, uh, there is two things. Uh, first one is the pen and the next thing is the pencil. Okay. So, uh, see, this is the cost of pen and cost of pencil we don't know. Okay. So, let's say cost of pen is X. X is the cost of pen. Okay. And let's say the cost of pencil is Y. Okay. So what is going to happen? X plus Y. And that is going to be, this is 1.1 pound. I can convert this into the pens. Okay. Why I'm converting into pens? Because my options are in pens and this information is also in pens, right? So better idea to convert this into pens. So what it means? 110 pens, right? So X plus Y equals to 110 P. Okay. And here, as I mentioned, X is what cost of a pen. Okay. Or let me write cost of a pen okay and similarly what will be the y y is cost of pencil clear the first equation how we have prepared this see they told us like the uh they similarly buying these two things okay so we don't know like see here it is mentioned okay a pen it means one pen and a pencil it means one pencil okay if she is buying more than one then i have to multiply the numbers here in front of x and y okay and the cost is already given to me so i can write like this now after this you have another option that is what like after doing the first equation you have to move on to the second statement okay and that is what the pen cost 50p more than the pencil it means what they are telling us uh see there are two variables okay here as you know x and y now it says pen cost 50 pence more than pencil. It means, as you know, X is greater than Y, right? Yeah. Logically, they are telling this much, right? 
Now, why I am doing this? This will gives you indication like where you need to add this 50p. Okay. So as you can see, pen cost is more than pencil, right? If you not read this, then also it says that pen cost is more than pencil. So X is greater than Y. It comes to know, right? Now, what you can do if you want to make them equal, okay? If you want to make them equal, then you have to add the difference on the smaller side, right? Okay, so either you can write like this x plus 50 p equals to y. This is the first way or else if you want to make them equal, then you have to take away 50 from y to make them equal, right? This is the best two ways, okay? We can make equation in these two ways, okay? I am using first way because my first equation is similar to this form, right? As you can see, right? So are you getting this? How I'm getting this equation? X is greater than Y. It means, okay. Oh, uh, I, I made a mistake. Okay. Sorry. I have to remove this. X is greater than Y. So we need to remove, uh, we need to add 50 on the Y side. Okay. Just give me one minute. Yeah, here you can see X is greater than Y. It means what? If I want to make them equal, then I need to add on the smaller end, right? And smaller end is the Y. So I need to add 50P on this side. Is it clear? And now if I will, uh, if I will move this Y to the left side, then it is going to be X minus Y equals to 50. Okay. Yeah. So now it's a clear second equation. Now you have two equations. This is first equation. And this is next equation, okay? Second equation. So it's a very clear if you add both the equation, okay? What is going to happen? X plus Y, okay? Equals to 110P. And the second equation is what? X minus Y equals to 50P. Okay? Now you can add them. If we add them, then what is going to happen? See, X plus X, that is 2X, fine. Plus y minus y that is going to be zero y right so I am not writing anything that is going to be cancel okay and you can cancel like this and okay so we are uh, able to cancel this okay because plus y minus y will going to be zero and on the right hand side what we have right hand side one hundred ten plus fifty that is going to be sixty okay so this is equals to sixty. So what it means, X must be 30P, right? Okay. So X must be 30P here. Uh, okay. Okay. One more time. I made a mistake. So totally sorry for this. See, I have to add it very carefully. Okay. 110 plus 50 is going to be 160. Okay. So can... Uh, it's I apologize for this mistake. 160 is there and 2x equals to 160. So what it means, x must be 80. Okay. Now it's a clear and now it's a good. Nothing is to worry. Option D is correct. Now I'm repeating this question. This is first equation x plus y equals to 110p. Next equation is x minus y equals to 50p. If you add this to equation, then what is going to happen? x plus x, that is 2x. And plus y minus y, that is going to be 0. And now 110 plus 50, that is going to be 160. So X equals to what? X must be equals to 80p, right? Okay. So let's move on to the next section. We are going to start practice session. Okay. And in this, we have the question which are actually asked in the 11 plus exam. Okay. So these are similar questions. So nothing is to worry. We have to practice at this level. Okay. So I am reading this question. Okay, let me select someone. Okay. Uh, Peter, can you please read this question? Okay, I am ready. <laughs> In a bag, there are twice as many as blue ball as red ball. Okay, so this is given to you first of all. Now the next thing is given to you is there are 18 balls altogether. So the total number of the balls is the 18. Okay, and the question is how many blue balls are there? So yeah, please everyone solve this question. And this question comes under, okay, I will tell you later on, but you can solve this question in two minutes. Okay, 
today we have algebra so uh, we need at least two minutes mm -hmm. yeah please solve this and do the message okay you can uh, send your answer into the chat so i can see use raise hand option and for a zoom or or please remove it okay because it's a very big class and i'm not able to ask everybody okay so i can see there are many hands are raised but don't raise the hand okay you can uh, you can type okay yeah now you're audible now tell me 12 blue balls okay 12 blue balls and and six red balls okay very good and uh, let's solve um, it together uh, my for your chat answer. is disabled okay 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 no problem uh, our technical team will able it okay yeah thank you so here you have first of all a thank you for this answer and i will create two equations okay to solve uh, we need two equations okay if we want to solve two things then we need at least two equations okay let's start in a bag there are twice as many blue balls as red okay so first of all there are some of the blue balls and some of them are red ball okay let's say x are the blue balls and y are the red balls okay and all together they are 18 okay so i can uh, make first equation is itself they are telling you that in a bag twice as many as blue balls as red ball yeah so what it means like red ball are the lesser than the blue ball right yeah okay that is okay F first of all let's uh, write the easy thing that you know summation of this ball or you can say addition of these two balls is equals to 18 right this is clear now the next thing is what from the first line you have to make equation and that is already in front of you uh there are twice as many as blue balls as red balls here as you can see here x must be what you have to compare the x and y okay it's a direct comparison you have to compare which one is the more here so twice as many as blue ball as red ball here it's itself it is telling you right so it is nothing but you just have to think like uh it should be here x is uh, x equals to blue and y equals to red so it is going to be here see sometime you can make equation okay in the last thing here you are able to make two equations right but in this you are not able to make second equation you have some comparison okay and that comparison is in between x and y so first of all you can write x and y like this now after writing this you have to identify which one is more here so as you can see x is more here right so x is greater than y okay now you can see who is more here x and if you want to make them equal then you need to write x equals to 2y right because it's a twice so now instead of x you can write y okay i mean 2y so 2y plus y equals to 18 and that means 3y equals to 18 so y equals to 6 okay so and if y equals to 6 then x equals to what 2y so it's a 12 right so it is very clear uh x equals to 12 it means 12 blue ball and 6 red ball okay so that is very clear and the uh, uh, level is easy but you must able to decode this okay let's okay let me write answer here as well we are asking how many blue balls are there okay so you just have to answer the blue ball and how many we have 12 blue balls let's move on to this question and i am reading this question for all of you Two numbers have a difference of 3 and the sum of 27. So, what are the two numbers? You need to tell me what are the two numbers. Your time starts now. This comes under the easy section and still I am giving you two minutes. Okay. So, yeah. You have two minutes to solve this question. Start your solve. Start your question. Okay. Time's up. This much time is enough. And right now, I, I got many, many answers from all of you, but it's okay. Let's solve it together. Uh, there are total two numbers, okay? Let's say those numbers are X and Y, okay? I am guessing those numbers are X and Y. And I am uh, assuming my X is greater than Y, okay? This is I am assuming, okay? This is my condition. Your condition can be different than this, okay? It is not compulsory. Y can be also greater than X, but I am considering this, okay? Why? 
because first of all i have to make this equation the difference of 3 it means if i will decide which one is a greater then i am able to do this x minus y equals to 3 right why because x is greater so greater minus like bigger number minus smaller number will gives us positive result right now the next thing is what sum of them is equals to 27 so i can do this x plus y equals to 27 now as we have done in the example you can add them okay if we add them what is going to happen x plus x that is 2x and y and y will get cancelled right minus y plus y equals to 0 so we don't have to worry about that 27 plus 3 that makes 30 okay so if 2x equals to 30 then 1x is must be what 30 divided by 2 we are doing okay see right now we are we are doing like this okay dividing by 2 both the sides so you are going to get x equals to 15 yeah clear so what is our answer they are asking what are the two numbers so first number we got it and the another number we have to figure it out so as you know x plus y equals to 27 okay here you know that right so x must be what using you can use any equation okay uh, i can show you by using both the maths both the equation okay here what you have uh x minus y equals to 3 so if x equals to 15 then y must be what y must be 12 right okay if you like this equation you can use this if you don't like this then also you can use the second equation okay there is nothing is to worry x plus y equals to 27 instead of this x you can put 15 15 plus y equals to 27 so it means what you need to add something into 15 to get 27 so that should be what that should be 12 only right yeah so answer of this question is 12 and this question comes under easy category let's move on to the next question and let me select uh, one of you mark is three years older than david the sum of their ages is 89 how old is mark okay thank you so everyone please do this question okay mark is three years older than david and the next one is some of their ages is 89 so how old is mark your time starts now i am giving you to solve this question is 1.5 minute is more than enough so okay time's up now let's do this question together whatever you have the answer you can verify with me okay so let's uh, start this here you can see mark is three year older than david okay uh, so let's say mark h is x okay and david h is y so mark is three years older than david so in front of you it's very clear x must be greater than y right yeah so if we want to make them equal then how we can make them equal as you know x is greater than y so you need to add on the y side okay like this okay this is your first equation but we need to convert variable on the one side and the numbers on the another side so you can do x minus y equals to three okay yeah you can write directly this one as well but uh, i'm preferring this method because this will directly indicates you by comparing number you can make them equal and then you can adjust as per your requirement now the next equation is what sum of their age is 89 so it means what sum of their age it means x plus y equals to 89 so now you have these two equations and if we have these two equations then we are able to directly solve it you can add them right if we add this it's a very clear our our x x will be stay there and y will get cancelled okay so y will get cancelled okay so here what is going to happen x plus x that is 2x and minus y plus y equals to 0 and this is 3 and 89 okay so 3 and 89 will make how much that is 92 so from here it's a very clear uh, like x must be what x must be half of 92 right and if you do this then you are going to get how much Hmm? yeah you can do any method you can use uh like it just you can do half of it okay and it's very clear and very easy so two times four that is eight and one is left so 12 so it means two times six okay so 46 would be the x okay now once you once you know the value of x 
what they are asking you how old is mark okay and so they are asking about mark and x is mark right as you can see here x is mark so no need to find the y value okay but if they are asking what is the david edge then you can find it for y okay so here as you can see x you know and y you can find it out if it required okay right now it's not required but if you want to still figure it out then y must be what three years less than this right so that is going to be 43 so as per the requirement you can save your time either if just x is required then just solve for x only okay not for y you can solve accordingly and you will save your time so answer of this question is 46 years because we are writing just for mark and difficulty level is very easy nothing is to worry now let's move on to the next question and uh, mala patel can you please read this question ruby and yes. eva are collecting money for charity ruby ruby collect 10 pound more than eva altogether they collect 240 pounds how much did Rima collect? Okay, so thank you, Malo. So here we are looking for how much Rima collect, okay? And this question can be solvable in 1.5 minutes. So I am providing in 1.5 minutes to all of you. Let's start, sol like start solving, okay? <laughs> See, time important, time management is too much important, okay? That is why every time I'm giving you some time limit. So, if you are able to solve within some time, then, then only it's a good. Otherwise, it's a not good habit, okay? Because during exam, you must able to solve each and every question to score higher. Okay, time's up. Now, let me select one of you. Tara, can you please answer this question? How much Rima collect? I wasn't quite sure about that one. Okay, no problem. Uh, Thanish, can you please try? Uh, I'm. I wasn't very sure about that one either. Okay, no problem. So let me select someone. Uh, Vijay, can you please try this question? Um, is it 175 pounds? Okay, no problem. So, thank you for all of your answers. And if you are not sure, all of you, most of you are not sure, but it's fine. Let's do it together. See, algebra requires practice, okay? And you have to solve like all the levels of questions. This is just a starting, okay? This is easy level questions. Algebra requires the good knowledge of making equation and solving equation. Now, Ruby and Eva are collecting money. Let's say Ruby collects X pound, okay? And let's say Eva collect Y, okay? So here the first thing is what? Ruby collects 10 more than Eva. So it's very clear whatever X number is here is more than Y, right? And as I, I told you, like if X, equal, if X equals to Y, if I want to make, then what I need to do? I have to add that 10 pound on the smaller side, right? To make them equal like this. Yeah, 10 should be on this side, okay? So if you modify this question, then it is nothing but what? X minus Y equals to 10. 10, it means 10 pound, okay? And the next equation is altogether they collect 240, okay? So as you know, X plus Y, that is going to be what? 240. Now, this... Uh, you are already familiar with these two equations, okay? If you are getting these two equations, then what we are going to do? We are going to add them, okay? So after adding, it's uh, very clear x plus x, that's the 2x, and minus y plus y, that's a 0. So 10 plus 240, that's a 250. So from here, x is going to be 125, okay? So, uh, like, okay, so this is 125 fine okay so if what they are asking us they are asking for okay here it should be ruby okay it's my mistake it should be ruby okay i will make it uh clear okay this should be ruby yeah so how much did ruby collect 
So for this, we need to figure it out X, right? And we got it, that is 125 pounds. Now let's move on to the next question. And difficulty level was easy. Yeah. Okay. So I think now it's uh, very clear to all of you. Okay, let's move on to the next question. The sum of the list and the greatest three consecutive number is 80. What are the values of the three numbers? So here we have the new question. And in this question, somewhat knowledge is required of the consecutive numbers, okay? You must know what are the consecutive numbers. So consecutive numbers are the number which comes one after one and they should be in some order, okay? For example, if I'm writing uh, one example of consecutive numbers, let's say I'm writing three, then four, then five, then six. These are the consecutive numbers, okay? They are one after one and they are following one order, okay? So this is the definition of consecutive numbers. Now this question required two concepts. First one is algebra and the next one is the consecutive numbers knowledge. So that is why I am giving you two minutes to solve this question. Okay. Sum of list and greatest is equals to 80. So what are the value of the three numbers? So you have to identify what are the numbers and your time starts now. You have two minutes to solve this question. Yes, everyone. Let's solve this audible. Uh, no worries. Let's do it together. See, as I told you, the number comes one after one, right? Yeah. So here, yes, you can see here the sum of the list and the greatest number. So before that, you must have the three numbers, right? And as you know, they comes after one after one. Okay. So these are the consecutive numbers. That's why I am able to use one more relation here is let's say my first number is X. Then the next number is going to be x plus 1. And the next number is going to be x plus 2. Okay. How I'm able to write this? Because I know these numbers are consecutive. And consecutive it means what? It comes one after one. Okay. Yeah. In some specific order. So there is a gap of 1. And the first number is x. Then the next number is x plus 1. Then the next number is x plus 2. So here in front of you, you have the three number. And from here, it's a very clear. The list number is this one, right? This is the list number, okay? And this is the greatest number, right? So this is what we want, right? Here they told you like sum of list and the greatest number is 80. So use it, we can add X, that is the smallest number and the greatest that is X plus two, that is equals to 80. So from here, it's a very clear X plus X that is going to be two X plus two equals to 80 okay now we need to subtract two from both the sides so what is going to happen i am writing here subtract two from both the sides if we do so then what is going to happen here 2x and here how much 80 minus 2 that's a 78 okay in the next step we need to divide by 2 from both the sides okay so if you divide this 2x by 2 then you are going to get x and what is the half of 78 so 2 times 3, it means 6, and 1 is the remainder by using short division method. So it's a 1 and 8 will be 18. So that is 2 times 9. So it's very clear, like half of 78 is 39. Okay. So what we are looking for, we are looking for all three numbers. So if you know the first number, next number is just more than 1, right? Yeah, like you need to just add into, uh, add into it 1, okay? So if we add 1 into it, what we are going to get, first number is 39, the next number is 40, and the next number is 41, okay? So these are the three numbers. Clear? Three numbers are 39, 40, and 41. So this is your answer, 39, 40, and 41. And I must say difficult level is medium. Now it's time to solve, time to move on to the our quiz section right because we have done many questions it's time to do test yourself okay i agree today's lesson must be a little bit tough compared to other lessons but algebra is something difficult okay like it is easy for those people who are able to make the equation properly and who enjoys to solve the equation very quickly okay but if you are not able to uh, convert the given wordings into algebra then it's a tough little bit for you okay 
Now let's do this question. And here we have the condition is 11 times a number. Okay, so 11 times a number is, okay, 11 times a number increased by 7 is the same as 15 more than 7 times a number. And we need to figure it out what is the number. Okay, so this question comes under easy category, but still it's a little bit difficult to solve. So I am giving you two minutes to solve this question. Okay, and I will consider easy question. Okay, this is easy only. Your time starts now. Please solve this. You have two minutes to solve this question. Okay, time's up. So here, let's do it together. Okay. Uh, 11 times a number. So first of all, we need to consider one number. Let's say our number is X. Now, 11 times a number, it means what? 11 times X, right? Okay. So 11 times a number increased by 7. So what it means? 11 times a number, that is 11 X. It is increased by 7. So it is plus 7. Okay. Is same as, is it means what? Is means equal sign, right? Is same as 15 more than 7 times a number. So again, 7 times a number, it means what? 7x, right? And 15 more than that, it means what? 7x plus 15, right? So from here, you need to add 15 more into it. So 11 times a number, that is 11x. Increase by 7, it means 11x plus 7. Is same as 15 more than 7 times a number. So 7 times a number, that is 7x plus 15, right? Is it clear? This is question is easy, okay? Why I'm telling you easy? Because here you need to make just one equation. But you must able to uh, make it clearly, okay? So this is 11x plus 7 equals to 7x plus 15. Now you have to move this 7x to the left hand side, okay? For this, what you can do? You can subtract 7x from both the sides. If you subtract 11x minus 7x, then what you are going to get? Uh, 11x minus 7x, that is nothing but what? 4x plus 7 as it is for now, okay? Now 7x minus 7x, that is 0 plus 15, okay? Now we need to minus this 7, okay? So minus 7 from both the sides. So that is going to be 4x. 15 minus 7, that is how much? 8, okay? After this, you need to divide by 4 both the sides. So if you divide 4x by 4, you are going to get x and 8 divided by 4, you are going to get 2. So from here, it's a very clear the number is 2. Okay. So sometime if required, you can just put uh, the same number into uh, this. Okay. Again, and you can check as well. So 11 times 2, that is 22. 22 plus 7, that is 29. Okay. So left hand side is equals to 29. And right hand side, you can check 7 times 2, that is 14. 14 plus 15, that is also 29. So yeah, it satisfies our condition. So it's a true, okay? And as I mentioned, difficulty level was easy. Okay, so yeah, let's do this question, everyone. Okay, this question is little bit, uh, I can say medium to hard level. So prefer I'm doing, okay? I'm. Let's do it together. Two oranges and three lemons cost 64 pence. This is the first condition. And the next condition is three orange and four lemon cost is 89p. So what is the cost of orange? We need to figure it out. What is the cost of orange, right? So let's do it together. Let's say the cost of orange is x and cost of lemon is y. So here you can write two times x because two orange is there. Three times y because three lemons are there. And the cost is 64p. Okay. Now, this is your first equation. Now, the next equation, what do you have? You have the next equation is 3 orange. As you know, cost of orange is x and cost of lemon is y. So, 3x plus 4y equals to 89p. Okay. This is your next equation. So, here, as you can see, if we add, then we are not able to cancel any one of them, right? So what we need to do, we need to multiply them. Okay. I am going to multiply. Uh, we need, see what we need. We want cost of orange. It means we want X value, right? So I will make sure my X will stay after subtraction. Okay. So what I can do, I can multiply four in this equation. Why I am multiplying four? Because I want to make 12 Y above and below. Okay. So if I want to make 12 Y, 
then I need to multiply this equation by 3, both the sides, okay? Yeah? Why we are doing this? Because LCM of 3 and 4 is 12, right? So after this, you can multiply 4 times 2, that is 8x, 4 times 3, that is 12y, and 64 times 4, if you do, then how much we are going to get? You can just multiply them, 4 times 4 16, 1 will be carry over. 6 times 4, that is 24, plus 1, that is 25, okay? So, 256. Now, the same way, the next equation is what? 3 times 3, that is how much? 9x, okay? 3 times 4, that is 12y. And the last line, that is what? 89 times 3, okay? So, you can multiply this, 89 times 3, that is how much? It's a very clear, okay? 90 times 3, you can do, and that is 270. And minus 3, you can do, okay? If you want to do that, that's also possible. Nothing is to worry. Otherwise, use the normal method. 9 times 3, 27. So, 7 will be here. 2 will be here. 8 times 3, 24. 24 plus 2, 26, okay? So, 267. Now, what we are going to do? We are going to subtract this, okay? If you subtract, what is going to happen? 8x minus 9x. That is nothing but minus x. 12y minus 12y. It means what? It's a 0. Okay. Yeah. Is it clear? The next one is going to be 0. So 12y will get cancelled. So here we don't have anything. And 256 minus 267. So that is how much? That is equals to 11. Okay. So from here, it's a very clear. It's 11, but it should be minus 11 because we are subtracting 267 from 256. So x is going to be 11 and our answer must be in pants because in the very beginning we have considered x must be in pants okay yeah so all the calculation is comes under the pants only because here 256 is also pants 64 20, 89 all these units are in pants okay so final answer must be in pants only so we are looking for what is the cost of orange and it is clear in front of you the cost of orange is 11 b Okay, you can consider this question as medium to high level, but um, it will become easy if you do the practice more. So, what required in algebra? Practicing. Okay, so let's talk about some exam techniques. As I mentioned, algebra requires practice, so make sure you are regularly practicing problem with the different level of difficulty. Okay, if you want to do better in algebra, then you need to practice more and more algebra based questions. Uh, to create an expression or equation, identify the important keyword, okay? So, keyword is important. If you are able to identify properly, you are make, uh, you are able to make the equation properly. Now, make sure that you have used the correct sign, okay? While doing addition and subtraction, you must have to be sure you are doing correctly. Now, once you get this answer, you can always check by substituting the same value into the equation and you can check either your answer is correct or not, okay? So, always check your answer. Now, let's have the summary. Terms connected by mathematical operator like plus, minus, multiplication and divide is known as expression, okay? So, in the first point, I am describing what is expression because we have covered that, right? Now, two expressions, if we will separate by equal sign, then that is going to be what? Equation, right? Now, after this, if you want to solve equations, then how we can solve it? Uh, we have to solve, it means what? We are going to finding the variables, okay? And we will solve using the balance method, okay? Yeah, that's it for today's class. Thank you, everyone. I hope you have enjoyed.